We're going to turn to the coronavirus here in the U.S. and the new estimate from the CDC just before we came on the air tonight. The CDC is now predicting the death toll could rise to 217,000 American lives in just the next three weeks, by the first week of October. Tonight, more than 191,000 lives have already been lost, including the toll on teachers now. A special ed teacher from Missouri getting ready to welcome her students back has died. We have learned of at least six teachers who have died just as schools reopen. And here's ABC's Victor Akendo now. As schools scramble to make classrooms safer, teachers losing their own to the virus. 34-year-old Ashley DeMarinis was getting ready to welcome her students back outside St. Louis when she got sick. Her sister Jennifer, an ICU nurse from New York, was by her side. It's definitely hard. Um knowing what could or what will happen and then have it happen to your own family. In Mississippi, students shaken after losing beloved history teacher Thomas Slade. It's like a gut punch, really. He was a man I respected. I look forward to him coming back to the classroom, you know, and then he was gone. At least six teachers dying from the virus in recent weeks, the country inching closer to a once unthinkable toll. 200,000 lives. The CDC now projecting up to 217,000 deaths by October 3rd. I just think we need to hunker down and get through this fall and winter because it's not going to be easy. We know every time we restrict, we lift restrictions, we get a blip. I mean, it's getting, it's whack-a-mole. The race to stop the spread playing out on college campuses. At Miami University of Ohio, cases climbing by a thousand in just two weeks. Officers there breaking up a house party with 20 people after students tested positive for COVID-19. There's an input on the computer that you tested positive for COVID? Yes. When was this? This was on a week ago. Are you supposed to be quarantining? Yeah, that's why I'm at my house. Six students cited with violating health orders. You see the problem? How many other people have COVID? They all do. Everybody has it? In an interview with our affiliate WTVD, Dr. Deborah Burks urging all college students to get tested. Most importantly to every student out there, please get tested. Tonight, as the NFL kicks off its new season in Kansas City, new rules. The stadium will be at 22% capacity. Fans will be in masks at all times. Tonight, the Miami Hurricanes play their first game of the season. Everyone inside will be required to wear a mask. Only 13,000 fans will be inside of Hard Rock Stadium, which can normally hold 65,000. No students will be allowed inside for the first two games as they try to control the spread on campus. David? But it is nice to see the season back nonetheless. Victor Akendo tonight. Victor, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.